Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22! I can smell Christmas already. I don't know what that means. Um, today I'm actually starting my vlog really late because I don't know what the time is, probably one? No, no, no. Half past twelve. Um, and basically I have been doing some work on my book this morning. So I had, I sent off my final drafts last week and then I got comments on them from my editor today, so I've been amending everything that she thinks Basically needs. rewriting it, because it's Basically. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the faith. Um, so yeah, I've been working on that this morning, I've got that sent off, and that is the last of the book work before Christmas. I think they're sending over um, more feedback on Christmas Eve, and then I have until like New Year to get back to them. So um, yes, no more book work before Christmas, but Mike has just got home and is cooking some luncheon. This looks delightful. Sure, a little bit of a uh, pastel. pastel. I guess want some cheese. Um, and anything else been happening today? Uh, I've just been working, and then apparently you sound like you got cold. Well, I may have had the last few days had a cold, but I've not <laughs> mentioned it because somebody else has been. I've died. I'm dying. <laughs> and if I say I've got a cold at the same time, it's not allowed. So I'm just pretending I don't <laughs> have a cold, so I don't get told off. So we both um, have a cold. I've got a little bit of a sniff, but I'm fine. Um, but according to Twitter, apparently we're filming a video. So we are filming a video. We're doing our best, best get ready to film a video. A festive one. You better get festive. I better get my festive hat on. So I just ate a satsuma. Average size satsuma like this. This is the peel. So I want to show you how many pips I got in this. And I swallowed one as well by accident. These are from one satsuma. What is going on? That is not normal. That is a lot. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and the one I swallowed, so fourteen. Crazy. Just getting ready to film our Christmas video by the Christmas tree. I wanted to show you guys the setup we've got going on. It's a bit impromptu. All of the dogs are very excited to be getting involved. Um, that's not yours. Hey, let's Treacle, go. drop it. Treacle wants the jumper. No. Um, Piglet is loving all the all the presents under the tree. She keeps like going and having a look. And Squid has decided that the video is all about her, and she wants to sit on Mike's lap. Have you found any good questions yet? I found loads. Are you searching through the festive yeah. questions? Oh, Squid, so you, 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 you. Too cold. Uh, uh, too cold. Drop it. Oh, no, gosh. everyone drop it. Oh, God. Numero 22. What does it say now? In the nativity story, if I can open the door. Oh, no, this is a disaster. Glory to God in the highest. Peace and goodwill towards men. Isn't that, like, from a carol? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Here's the chocolate. Why, what happened to your face there, Michael? I don't know what you mean. I attacked with my lipstick because <laughs> you were going to come with shopping no, with me not. and mum. You were considering no, it. Not. You were considering I went, it. I said, um. And now no he's like, no, I'm not coming. No. Rubbish. But it'll be so festive. And really stressful and it'll be nice to have you there. You know you said it'd be really stressful? <laughs> There's nothing I did not want to do. We're doing the, the Christmas food shop with mum. I want the answer you've got now. What's that? I am 100% not coming with you. Oh. Great. I didn't want him to come anyway. I just came downstairs to hear this noise. Mike is playing the drums. He hasn't played the drums in a really, really long time. I'm going to take you guys down. We'll go and see what he's up to. This um, stair gate for Piglet is really hard to open. And <laughs> Growler is down there too. Stay there, doggies. It's really creepy. I'm going to take you into the creepy cellar. But prepare for it to be loud down here as well. making a lot of noise. Well, you know, really quiet. This is Mike's drum room. And he has a golf kit down here as well. And this weird, this is, our cellar is like super creepy. Um, can you do an outfit of the day for me before I leave? <laughs> I'm just going out with my mum. It's gonna be a creepy cellar outfit of the day. Cellar outfit of the day. It's a cellar outfit of the day. I'm wearing my scarf, which is from ASOS. My jumper's from Topshop. Bag. The only thing, this is like diff the same as another outfit I wore like a week ago. But I wanted to point out my top routines. I wanted to point out that I'm wearing my. Oh, finally! Ten years. Ages. So yes, I am off shopping. You are playing the drums. Is Jack coming over? I don't know. I think I'll hold him. Wow. Oh. I don't know what's gonna happen. I might See just you go. See you later, noisy git. I might just go have a party on my own. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Later. Bye. 
So I am with my mama. You're gonna say hi, Jukes. Sir. We are currently in Gap, looking for last-minute kiddie presents. I love Gap Kids. It's probably one of my favourite places to be. There's a T-shirt. It says snug as a pug, penguin jumper, love it, and it's an extra 20% off the sale, which is good stuff. I don't need any presents for Luca, but this makes me want to buy things for her. Look at these jeans. She needs them in her life. Now in m and I think I've seen my favourite crackers I've ever seen in the world. Look how beautiful these are. We are now sitting in Cafe m and a nice big coffee. Mum's got a glass of Prosecco because she's feeling particularly decadent this afternoon and just having a bit of a chin wag. I think Mike may have recruited us to pick up a curry on the way home though, which is very naughty, but it's Christmas. Festive curry, maybe. Mum has got a mince pie with clotted cream. Mm. That looks so good. I might have to have a bite because I actually haven't had a mince pie this year. Is that bad? It's my first mince pie mm. of the season. Is it really good? Brandy cream. Oh. <laughs> It does look good. It's a lot of cream for a little mince pie. Oh my god, devils on horseback. These are my favourite things in the world. Dates wrapped in bacon. So good. Standard. Amazing. But this Whoa. looks so good. What is even in it? Serves tech. Snow look bomb. at the size Snow of this picture. Look yeah, at that. It's actually gone a bit It's got like berries and stuff in it. Mum, that is going to be so good. Why are you shaking it? It's gone a bit wonky. <laughs> I also might get some of these. <laughs> Yum. Oh, look at this too. It's gold. Plum and almond tart. Mum's found the uh, most decadent desserts and also is not making them herself. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> and we found this for my little nephew Arthur. It's a little tweed jacket. So cute. He's going to look so cute in that. I've got to tell you guys. We just went to pay for the coffee and the prosecco and the mince pie and it came to £1.67. No. We it said was it was £1.67. Yeah, we said to the girl, we're like, that can't be right. And she was like, let me check. She like double checked. Apparently there was some deal on £1.67, a glass of Prosecco, a mince pie with brandy butter and a large coffee. That is the bargain of Christmas for me, I have to say. Pretty amazing. We just got home, we're unpacking the curry onto the table. Um, yeah, I think Dad's not here yet, so we're waiting for him to come. Mum's here, Jack's here as well. Three days in a row. What have we done to deserve you for three days in a row? So. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we are going to eat the curry, we've got some funky tunes playing, generally feeling rather festive and cheery. How's your afternoon been, MDF? Delightful. Delightful. Have you been playing, what game have you been playing? Playing Call of Duty. Oh, Call of Duty. That's my least favourite game. We need to play that zombie game again soon. We do. We do. And I'm so excited as well because I've just got the first visuals of the first two chapters of my book like laid out and it looks amazing and I'm so excited about it and I might show you like a sneak peek. Um, which page do you think I should show them, Mum? You can't do the cover. I'm going to show you like one of just a little bit of the illustrations, like two half pages. I'm going to show you this. This is like the sneakiest of peeks into what my book's going to look like. Ah, it looks amazing! Um, they actually ended up using the illustrator that I really, really wanted, um, who's called Sally Faye. So I'm super, super excited. It's the first time I've seen the illustrations that she's been doing for the book. And it's the first time I've like seen my writing like laid out in a cool way with like all different colours and stuff. So um, I'm so happy with it. So happy! So we are getting festive right now. Mum and Dad have left. The curry was epic. Oh, sorry, Squeaky, I just sat on your tail. And we're now in the sitting room getting ready to watch a movie. The boys are not impressed because there's not really any movies anyone wants to watch apart from... I really want to watch the Santa Claus. Mike really wants to watch Days of Thunder. Yes. But I've said to them, we're, we're not going to get festive. Piglet wants to watch the Santa Claus because she doesn't know about Santa yet. Oh, Piglet. She's snuggling down there on the beanbag. Mike's lit a fire. Oh, yeah, we are feeling extremely festive. You've even put the lights on on the fireplace. Yes, I have. Mega effort. Piggy. So we're going to put Santa Claus on, which I'm not going to lie. This, when I, we've just, I'm uploading this video now that's, um, the festive Q&A with me and Mike that we filmed today and one of the questions was what's your favourite Christmas movie and I always say Elf but actually as a kid my favourite was The Santa Claus National Lampoons uh, and National Lampoons. National Lampoons yeah that is a classic Jack good point yeah. but The Santa Claus was definitely one of my favourites I think we had that on on video 
so like old school VCR. So I think we used to watch that more than VCR. Um, National Lampoons, which we only used to watch when it was on TV. But yeah, so I'm sitting here with my peppermint tea in my mug that has a picture of me on it. I think this got a bit squashed when they printed it because on the front of the box that it was printed on, it looks like really tall and skinny, and on this one, it looked definitely looks shorter. So I think they shrunk it or they stretched it sideways. Anyway. Um, Squidge is, Squidge is like being all weird and needy to Jack, she's like, oh, stroke me, stroke me. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, Piglet, what's going on down there? She was like, what? You didn't just bust me lying on my back? What? 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 It's got the old school Disney sign on it! No fancy 3D castle for us! There was an update on the film, it's epic, but we already knew that. Just giving you an update on the cuteness factor in this room, it is currently hitting 5,000 million at this. What even is that, Piglet? You are too cute. I'm actually about to go move her and sit my no, own bottom down there. No, um, but she can snuggle on top of me. No, no. I've been sitting here doing some work and Squidge has been snuggling no. next to me, but I am coming in there for a cuddle. Yes, please. It's bedtime, sleepy puppy. Have you fallen down the crack? Oh, piggy the pooga. We are going to bed now. We'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 23. It's nearly the end of Vlogmas. I actually can't believe this. It is Animal Kingdom in here today. People keep asking where Beaver is, by the way. Um, she was around earlier. The reason why Beaver isn't in vlogs as much as Growler is because she spends a lot of time outside. Beaver is like a major mouse catcher. Um, so is Growler, but Growler's a bit more sociable, like she likes the dogs more and spends time with her, like, cuddling and stuff more. So Beaver is still alive and well, for those of you who are thinking she's died. She hasn't died. Um, she's probably in the house somewhere. But that's it for today, guys. We'll see you again tomorrow, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. Here she is. Get ready for the jingle. Meow.